Thank you very much. It's a great honor to have the President and highly respected, I must say, President of Portugal with us. We have a tremendous relationship with Portugal for a long time, and I would say it's never been better than it is right now. So uh, I just want to uh, welcome you and your delegation. It's, uh, it is uh, a country of great beauty and great people. And so thank you. And if you don't mind, I, I'll just make a quick statement of a man I also have great respect for, Justice Anthony. You know who I'm talking about. Justice Kennedy will be uh, retiring. And he is a man that uh, I've known for a long time and a man that I've respected for a long time. He's been a great justice of the Supreme Court. He, uh, he is uh, a man who is displaying great vision. He's displayed tremendous vision. and tremendous heart, and he will be missed, uh, but he will be retiring. And we will begin our search for a new justice of the United States Supreme Court that will begin immediately. And hopefully, we're going to pick somebody who will be as outstanding. So I just want to uh, thank Justice Kennedy for the years of tremendous service. Uh, He's a, uh, a very spectacular man, really a spectacular man. And I know that he will be around, hopefully, for a long time to advise. And, and uh, I believe he's going to be teaching and doing other things. So thank you to Justice Kennedy. Okay. Thank you. Who do you have to replace him? Thank you. Thank you. Well, we have, uh, obviously, uh, numerous people. We have a list of 25 people that I actually had during my election. I had to 20, and as you know, I added five uh, a little while ago. Uh, we have a, a very uh, excellent list of great talented, highly educated, highly intelligent, hopefully uh, uh, tremendous people. I think the list is very outstanding. When I was running, I, I put down uh, a list of 20 people, because not being a politician, I think people wanted to uh, hear what some of my choices may be, and it was pretty effective. And um, I think you see the kind of quality that we're looking at when you look at that list. Uh, but I, I did add, I added five uh, additional people to the list. So it will be somebody from that list. So we have now boiled it down to about 25 people. So when did you find out? The World Cup, our President Putin is the final. Yes. Uh, no, I, I, I will tell you, we fought very hard to get it here. Uh, I think they're doing a fantastic job with the World Cup right now. Uh, it's in Russia, and I will tell you that it's exciting. My son loves soccer, and he loves watching the World Cup, and they have really done a fantastic job uh, with the World Cup. It's exciting, even if you're a non-soccer fan. I'm a soccer fan a little bit, but I don't have much time. But, uh, well, I, I just — I'm rooting for everybody to do well. But I think the uh, venue has been fantastic. They really have shown something very special. I fought very hard to get it for the United States, Mexico, and Canada, as you probably have heard. And uh, we were honored to be chosen. And uh, this is a great gentleman and a great soccer fan, too. But we uh, — we were very honored to be chosen for the World Cup, so we look forward to that. Most likely. John Bolton is over there now. Uh, he's over in Russia right now. Uh, I just saw, watching media, that uh, he's, uh, he's met with President Putin. I haven't gotten the full report yet, but uh, it would look like we will probably be meeting sometime in the not-too-distant future. Uh, and I've said it from day one, getting along with Russia and with China and with everybody is a very good thing. It's good for the world. It's good for us. It's good for everybody. Uh, so we'll probably be meeting sometime uh, around my trip to Europe. You know where? It uh, hasn't been determined yet. Uh, probably <laughs> I will know within an hour. And what about the injunction on immigration? Will you fight that? The California judge who says reunited families must be put together. Well, we're going to see. But we believe that families should be together also. So there's not a lot to fight, but I we believe we believe families have to be together. But what we really do is we believe in very strong borders, no crime, and the Democrats believe in open borders and plenty of crime, because that's what you get with the open borders. Uh, I would like to introduce, however, the President of Portugal, and I'm sorry to bother you, but in, in our country, 
the selection of a justice of the United States Supreme Court is considered, I think we can all say, one of the one of the most important events, one of the most important things for our country. I mean, you see the decisions that just came down, how big they are, how vital they are. And uh, they can swing different ways, depending on who it might, whom there might be in the court. So it's always been considered a tremendous, uh, a tremendously important thing. Some people think outside of, obviously, war and peace, it's the most, most important thing that you could have. But uh, another very important thing is introducing the President, the highly respected, I must say, President of Portugal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, President. Well, as a constitutional law professor, oh, there, yeah. <coughs> I know how important it is when a justice uh, in your Supreme Court uh, retires, because it's uh, a key institution for the country. So I just heard the news, and I imagine how important it is for you and for any in US, United States president. Anyway, I'd like to tell you that um, we have a very a long-lasting friendship and partnership. Yes. That started the moment we recognized you. We were the first neutral country to recognize the United States of America as independence. Although we had as our oldest ally England. Mm -hmm. So it was courageous That's at right. that time. That's right. And I don't know if you know it, but your founding fathers celebrated independence with our wine, with Madeira wine. They made a toast. Good taste with our Madeira wine. It's a long, long story, this one, of our friendship and partnership, based on common values of democracy and freedom and rule of law and human rights, but also of a very strong community, a fellow citizen that are both American and Portuguese, and they love the United States of America, and they love Portugal. There are around 1,500,000 Portuguese, those who are American, right. living here. They're very important. So it's not just a military, a political, and an economic alliance. It's more than that. It's something very human. Right. Because we're speaking of 1,400,000 uh, people that uh, they live their love for two countries at the same time. As, as you spoke of soccer, let me then ask you something. Well, make you a suggestion. Go ahead. If you're going to meet Mr. Putin, well, I was with him last week. Good. Yes, and he asked me to greet you. So, of course, he was expecting the officer. But anyway, don't forget that Portugal has the best player in the world. That is called Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, I'm sure your son knows it. He knows all about and it. So, and so, don't forget, if you ever go to Russia during the championship, don't forget Portugal is still there and wanting to win. That's right, doing very well. Yes. Right. And they say he is and doing very, 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 very well. That's very good. Well. And so tell me, how good a player is he? Are you impressed? I'm very much impressed. He's the best player of the world, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. So in a sense, uh, well, I think has been a success. I do agree with you. Yeah, the great. championship. No, no, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think no doubt imagine. about it. For the world. For the world. So will Christian ever run for president against you? Well, he wouldn't win. You know well, he won't. President, you know, you know <laughs> something I must tell you. Portugal is not just the United States. That's not, right. That's a little right. bit different. I, yes, go ahead. Mr. President, when did you learn that Justice Kennedy <clears throat> About a half hour ago. Were you surprised? Uh, he came to the White House. We had a wonderful discussion just prior to meeting the President. And really had a very deep discussion. Uh, I got his ideas on things, including uh, I asked him, if he had certain people that he had great respect for that potentially could uh, take his seat, which is a very hard seat to fill. So we talked about different things, and uh, he was here for about a half an hour. I don't think you folks saw him come in and out, did you? I'm yeah. shocked. Boy, they've done a great job. That's a shocker. That's a shocker. But, uh, yeah, we had a uh, — he just left a little while ago, just prior to meeting the President. Will you tell us what he recommended? No, I won't do that. But uh, he uh, he has, you know, there are certain names that are just outstanding. Names that you already know, to be honest with you. I mean, there are names that you know that are outstanding, highly respected, names that you would know, President. Uh, and we'll be looking at them. We'll be looking at some others. But uh, they will come from the list 
of 25 people. Okay. Mr. President, it's an election year. Would you give consideration to holding that spot open until the makeup of Congress is determined come November? I haven't really thought about that. I think you want to go as quickly as possible. It's a process, but haven't really thought of that. But we had a big day yesterday, very big. We had a great decision today uh, in terms of uh, what was just released by the Supreme Court yesterday, obviously, with the travel ban was extremely big. And we had some tremendous elections, South Carolina, from my own standpoint, South Carolina. Governor McMaster, it was a big win. And as you know, I was very much involved in New York with the Congressman Donovan. So we're very happy. We're, uh, this was a good few days. And now I get to cap it off by meeting with the President of Portugal. And Portugal's been actually very important to our nation. And you're right, we have about a million and a half people from Portugal here. So that's very important. Do you have a message to help the no, I, I want them to do what they wanted. You know, the problem we have, and I told them uh, this morning, I said, hey, pass it if you can. But I also want them to do what they want. Uh, we have a big immigration bill, like everybody does, like you're mm -hmm. talking and everybody talks about immigration now, I think, more than ever before. Uh, I, I told them a few hours ago, I said, look, pass something or come back with something that would be a derivation, but get something you want. The problem we have is we need Democratic votes in the Senate. And that's why I don't get overly excited with the House bill right now, because it's not going to pass in the Senate. You're not going to get you're not going to get the Democrats to vote for anything. If we gave them a hundred percent of what they wanted and then doubled it, they still wouldn't pass it because they think it's a good election point. I, I think it's good for us because I think strong borders, I don't even know how you feel about that, but I think strong borders and no crime is that's us. And I think that's going to be a great election point for us. So uh, I, I told them two hours ago, I said, you know, do what you want. And ultimately, we'll come to something. And perhaps it'll be after the election. Maybe it'll be before. But at, as of this moment, Democrats are not going to vote for anything because they really are resisting or obstructing. OK? Thank you very much. Well, I think we'll be talking about Syria. I think we'll be talking about Ukraine. I think we'll be talking about uh, many other subjects, and we'll see what happens. So well, you never know. Happen. You never know about meetings, what happens, right? But I think a lot of good things can come with meetings with people. We had great meetings with President Xi of China. We have — every place I've been, uh, we have had great meetings. So uh, maybe something positive will come out of it. Mr. what about the progressive challenger that beat Joe Crowley, that young woman from New York? Are you worried about a Well, that was a shocker. Losing uh, — for Crowley to lose that election, that was a shocker. Uh, I was surprised. Everybody was surprised. We had somebody that's been in there for many years, Mr. Mm -hmm. President, and I think he probably took it for granted. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't say that I'm disappointed because I was never a big fan. But uh, he lost his election, uh, probably shouldn't have lost his election. Maybe you get a little complacent, you know, that does happen. You get complacent, and uh, he lost. That's a big loss. I tell you what, that's an amazing — that was a shocking loss. But it is what it is. Thank you all very much. By the way, the steel industry is absolutely doing great. The tariffs have been incredible, and the steel industry is doing great. And our country is doing great. You're seeing the results. The numbers coming out from the companies are far beyond what anybody ever thought possible. We're doing really good. But we have to have fair trade deals, and we're working on really fair trade deals. We're working with your representatives on fair trade deals. So well, I have you going to receive uh, President Juncker. That's good yes. news. Yes. That's good yes. news. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. All right, make your They're way working. It's going to be very good. It's going to be very good. Let's go. Make your way. As far as when you might go. be there. Probably after. Right after the Probably after. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thank you very much. Could be. Or be out. It'll be announced first.